Hello everyone, I'm Yu Huang. My talk today will deal primarily with the considerations of multi-source state diffusion methods based on the arrest plot and track association. Now, let's move to the first part. According to the survey, the previous methods contribute to inaccurate matching in the case of multiple targets. Lots of important information and an unstable tracking for follow-up target. Therefore, we propose an improved method with read and mobile eye. Next, there are three contributions of our work. Firstly, we use probability distribution to achieve the maximum utilization of detection range of sensors. And secondly, we compared with existing researches to determine the significance of the practical application. And thirdly, we did on vehicle experiments to demonstrate the method integrates the advantages of the fusion system. And so we can come to the most important point of our work. For plate association, the data association matrix is constructed by calculating the ingredient distance and the concise similarity between the targets. And the final association is achieved according to the threshold, so as to determine the associated and disappearing and the immeasuring target. For track association, two sensors track the targets they detect and assign tracking IDs. When associating the data of the previous and next frames, using the tracked ID and the target lifecycle to match is able to increase the stability of tracking. In the data fusion stage, our algorithm uses the equation about state update for fusion. Use a formula in the figure for data fusion according to the camera filter. The final the obtained xf and the pf as a fused state value, value and the covariance matrix. And the parameters in the noise matrix are adjusted according to the accuracy of range and speed from different sensors. To verify the feasibility of methods, we did the on vehicle experiments by the sensors of continental. 408 radar and mobile eye EQ2. The parameters of two sensors and their position on the vehicle are shown in this picture. As we can see here on this chart, experimental science include car following and the stationary and the initial distance between the main vehicle and the target vehicle is 200 meters. While these two vehicles start to move, the speed of the main vehicle is increased to about 50 km per hour and the other is stabilized to 20 to 30 km per hour. The fusion of the targets recognized by different sensors achieved the maximum utilization of the detection range and the re reliability and stability, improving detection performance in precision. In the final part, the content of our experiment is about the fusion of forward radar and the forward vision, while the detection of backward and the lateral regions is insufficient. We choose the highway as the actual scenario and use six radars and one mobile eye for the environmental information around the main car in five directions, which demonstrates the universality of our method. Okay, that ends my talk. I'd like to thank you for taking time out to listen to my presentation.